Ford SSC, the car that will attempt to reach 1,000 miles per hour is almost complete. It was recently unveiled to the world's media at Canary Wharf in London, and for the first time, engineers were able to show us around this groundbreaking vehicle. The front section of the car is the uh, carbon fibre monocoque, uh, which contains the Andy Green's office, as they call it. Above uh, his office, you can see the uh, intake, uh, which is also carbon fibre. Uh, that's been uh, designed and developed by the Bloodhound design team uh, in conjunction with uh, Rolls-Royce, uh, just to provide the optimum airflow to the front of the LP compressor of the EJ200. Uh, so uh, moving further down, uh, we have the upper and lower chassis. Uh, contained within the lower chassis uh, is the uh, V8 Jaguar Land Rover engine. That's essentially going to act as a pump for the high, uh, HTP or the high test peroxide, which is the sort of highly volatile fuel they will use for the hybrid rocket. Um, above the, um, the hybrid rocket and the Jaguar engine, um, is the EJ200, uh, which has been sort of taken from Typhoon aircraft. Uh, that will uh, provide the initial thrust for the car uh, and will achieve uh, upwards of 350 miles an hour before he engages the hybrid rocket. The hybrid rocket itself uh, is operated from um, HTP being pumped into a sort of catalyst. Uh, as the HTP enters that catalyst, um, it undergoes a chemical reaction and produces superheated steam. Uh, that superheated steam will then react with a solid uh, block of rubber fuel, uh, which will then ignite uh, through its chemical reaction and provide the uh, flame or the thrust at the back of the rocket. So essentially, you've just got a continuous explosion going on inside the rocket. Um, that will sort of be engaged uh, once he achieves about the 350 mile an hour mark. Um, it takes about 25, 30 seconds to achieve the 350 miles, and then that rocket will fire for about a further 20 seconds, uh, which is calculated to happen as he enters the measured mile of uh, the 12 mile track out at the Hack Scheme Pan in South Africa. So we move further down, we have the Finn, which was built by 71 Squadron personnel based at RF Wittering. Uh, it's constructed of aluminium alloys as well as titanium skin uh, and contains uh, monitors for measuring stress uh, while the car is running in the desert as well as when down at um, Nuki Airport. Uh, below that you see the, the nozzle from the EJ200. Uh, when we deploy to the desert itself and personnel from uh, the Bloodhound team will be maintaining and monitoring the engine during all the runs, ensuring that uh, it operates at its optimum uh, levels. The team may still have a long way to go, but one thing is certain. Bloodhound's story has already captured the attention of the world and will continue to inspire young engineers for years to come.